In IDG's annual State of the CSO Research Survey of Security Managers, more than half of the respondents, 57% in fact, said they are involved today in both physical and IT security. I think data like this represents the vanguard or leading edge of a significant change in the enterprise security world, one in which the lines between building or physical security on the one hand and IT or data security on the other hand are blurring. This convergence, I believe, is a good thing. Heretofore, the domains of physical security and IT security have been largely separate from one another. So different groups have managed the user's IT or network access and building access pretty much independent of one another. You know how it works. You have a coded physical pass card to get into buildings and facilities or maybe a FOB. Then you have a variety of other means from tokens to passwords to FOBs, etc., to gain network access. The aim, of course, is to make it easy for users to gain both physical and network access anywhere in the world while the user's identity is definitively authenticated for IT. But up until now, there was little sharing of data gathered by the physical and IT security teams. If you haven't done so already, I think it would be wise to steer your head of IT security in the direction of these relatively new technologies that enable a converged approach to security. Over time, they will not only save money on overall security, but they will also boost authentication efforts as data is pooled and jointly analyzed. I'm Bill Labaris, and thank you for joining me for this Enterprise CIO Minute.